Star Wars 7x7 episode 2141. Today, the question, is Boba Fett really a Mandalorian? One way you look at it, the answer is kind of yes. And the other way you look at it, which may possibly be the more important way, it's definitively a no. Punch it! Hey Rebel Riser, I'm Alan Voivod and this is Star Wars 7x7, your daily dose of Star Wars joy, and thank you so much for joining me for it. So it may seem odd on its face to even raise the question of whether Boba Fett is a Mandalorian because, you know, that's just sort of what we have taken him to be. But as I was doing the research for yesterday's episode about Boba Fett possibly surviving the Sarlacc pit and how it applies to all the rumors that we're hearing about The Mandalorian Season 2, I got to thinking a little bit more about his background and realized that this is not as cut and dried a situation as it may seem. So in looking at it, it seems to me that there are two primary ways you can evaluate whether someone is a Mandalorian. The first way would be simply by birth. Like, were you born on Mandalore? Or were you born on a planet controlled by Mandalore, thus being declared a Mandalorian citizen? Boba Fett obviously was not. He was born on Kamino, and yes, we could get into the question of whether it counts that he was cloned or anything like that, but let's not overcomplicate this. <laughs> he was the clone of Jango Fett, who himself was born on Conquered Dawn, which means that he is Mandalorian, Jango Fett is. Now, I suppose you could also get into the question of Mandalorian citizenship, like was Jango Fett still a Mandalorian citizen at the time that Boba Fett was born, or was he a Kaminoan citizen, or what was his deal? Yeah, let's not overcomplicate <laughs> things and just say, hey, Jango Fett was a Mandalorian citizen, and so Boba Fett, you would think, would have that conferred upon him as well. But really, when we are talking about Mandalorians, we're not so much talking about people who were born on Mandalore or associated other places. We're talking about the way, right? This is the way. That's the thing we're talking about, the Mandalorian code, and being part of the Mandalorian political structure for all intents and purposes, which is a Mandalore who is the ruler, and then you have houses underneath that, and clans within the houses, and so on and so forth. And when you look at it that way, not only is Boba Fett not part of the Mandalorian, this is the way frame of mind, neither was Jango Fett. There's an episode of The Clone Wars where they're trying to find out a bit about Jango Fett, and they're talking to Prime Minister Almec, who, yes, can't be trusted to some degree, but even liars and corrupt people tell the truth from time to time, and he says that he doesn't know from Jango Fett that he's just a common bounty hunter and he has no idea where Jango Fett got the armor that he's using. Which, by the way, most Mandalorians are walking around with Beskar armor, that's that special metal, right? Unfortunately for Jango Fett, his is not Beskar. It's actually a Durasteel alloy, according to Wikipedia, so it's not even the right type of armor. It just looks Mandalorian for all intents and purposes. The same goes for Boba Fett's as well. Wikipedia's entry on Boba Fett doesn't actually say anything about the composition of his armor, but man, it is scarred and pitted and all banged up and knocked around, which Beskar armor doesn't really get like that. So. Yeah, definitely not traditional Mandalorian armor. So where he's coming by it, who knows? And it's just meant to look Mandalorian, and certainly it has the Mandalorian crest on his left shoulder, but that's all that's really Mandalorian about it. And another thing is, you know, speaking of shoulders, well, there's that you know Mandalorian crest on the left side of Boba Fett's armor. On the right side, there's nothing. And for Jango Fett's armor on the right pauldron, there's nothing. Why does that matter? Well, in The Mandalorian, in, I think it was the final episode, actually, in Redemption, when the armor makes the Mandalorian and the baby a clan of two, she puts the signet on his right pauldron. You would have to imagine that this is being done in line with very specific tradition, right? Even if Clan Mudhorn didn't exist until the armorer invented it, basically. But be that as it may, Jango Fett and Boba Fett are not part of any clan 
from the Mandalore ruling structure. And so they're not involved with any of that stuff at all. And there's nothing in any of the behavior that we've seen of Jango Fett or Boba Fett to indicate that they are practitioners of the way, mindful of a Mandalorian code or anything like that. And so in that regard, it seems to me that they are not in fact Mandalorian when you describe Mandalorian as a way of life. And as we've seen, you don't have to be born on Mandalore to be inducted into the Mandalorian way, right? The foundlings like Din Djarin, who is the Mandalorian from the Mandalorian. <sighs> wow, <laughs> that seems so repetitive. Din Djarin, the Mandalorian from the Mandalorian. You can be somebody who wasn't born on Mandalore, but still be a Mandalorian. And so, yeah, with all of this, it seems like A, Boba Fett, possibly has Mandalorian citizenship based on his relationship to Jango Fett, but is not Mandalorian in the sense that we generally walk around understanding the notion of what it means to be a Mandalorian. So there you go. That is my answer. And I would love to hear if you have other thoughts about whether Boba Fett is actually a Mandalorian, other ways to look at it. So just drop me a line and let me know. That right there is going to do it for the show today. And I'll make one little request, if you don't mind, if you haven't left a review for the show on the particular podcast or video channel where you happen to catch it, I hope you will consider doing that today. Just one little quick review to say what you think about the show in general. And thank you so much for considering doing it. Thank you so much for joining me for the show as always. And may the curve be flattening for you wherever in the world you may be. This podcast is not endorsed or sponsored yet by Lucasfilm Limited, Disney, or 20th Century Fox. It is intended for entertainment and information purposes only. Star Wars, the Star Wars logo, all names and pictures of Star Wars characters, vehicles, and any other related Star Wars items are registered trademarks and or copyrights of Lucasfilm Limited or their respective trademark and copyright holders. May the force be with them. All original content is copyright 2019 by Star Wars 7x7. We hope you love it.